In the same vein, President Joe Biden of America announced on Tuesday that the U.S. will ban imports of Russian oil and other energy products, but it will not be joined in doing so by many European allies and partners. The move is expected to trigger sharply higher gasoline and other energy prices in the U.S. and worldwide. Speaking from the White House, he said the United States is targeting the main artery of Russia's economy and said it means the American people will deal another powerful blow to Putin's war machine. And I believe in the country. Americans have rallied support, have rallied. To Our teams are actively discussing how to make this happen. And today we remain united. We remain united in our purpose to keep pressure mounting on Putin and his war machine. This is a step that we're taking to inflict further pain on Putin, but there will be cost as well here in the United States. I said I would level with the American people from the beginning. And when I first spoke to this, I said defending freedom is going to cost. It's going to cost us as well in the United States. Republicans and Democrats understand alike understand that. Republicans and Democrats alike have been clear that we must do this. I've made it clear that the United States will share in the responsibility of caring for the refugees so the costs do not fall entirely on the European countries bordering Ukraine. Focus to keep all NATO and all... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.